Hey guys, it's your boy Tiny here, and today we're going to be discussing in this video for bow hunting the great debate. What kind of broadhead should you use? I have a very simple answer, but it's always should I use expandables or should I use fixed broadheads? That's what we're going to discuss on today's video. So as you saw in the intro, today's video is going to be on the great debate. Before I get into that, y'all saw I got a crossbow. That was a couple videos ago. Since then, man, if you're going to get into a sport and go full out, like I don't do duck hunting because I already do bow hunting because it's so expensive. And compound and crossbow is just as expensive as duck hunting in my opinion. So I don't duck hunt. For that reason just because of how expensive it is because i'm fully invested in this so with that being said in the last couple weeks i have got a new case for my crossbow love it everything stays organized where it should my wife is on a hoarder's kick and anything that's not packed up nice and neat it might get thrown out so we just making sure that don't happen i've also bought for my viewing pleasure and yours also if i get a chance to kill one with my crossbow Lighted knocks for it. These are super easy. Just push it in and it glows. Very nice. That way if maybe I get a killer shot, we'll see. I ain't getting my hopes up too high because every time I do. But these are super easy. You just push it forward and then you just pop it right back out and that is taken care of. So as far as the main topic for today's video. Expandables or fixed. And I have two packages because I'm going to use the expandables on my compound bow. And I figured I'd go with the fix for my crossbow. I just want to try something. But I went with Schwackers this year. That is the brand I want to try. I have a story for that here in a minute. But we'll go ahead and discuss a few things. The main thing about this is personal preference. Just like when you're bow hunting and anything else you got going on with your bow. Some people shoot a Hoyt, some people shoot a PSE, some shoot a Matthew, some shoot a Bear. Diamond, Tech, whatever. It's what you get comfortable with. It's what you, the consumer, can afford. I was shooting Rage up until about a year ago. Swore by them. Bought some newer Rage broadheads. Didn't have as good a luck with them. They didn't deploy. And my twin... I used Schwackers one year because my dad caught a heck of a sale on them. They was on clearance for seven bucks after bow season, practically giving them away. So I figured this year he had such good luck with the story I'm about to tell you that I would try both of them, the expandables and the fixed broadheads right now. So I'm about to show you a picture of this coyote that he killed. And it's amazing how quick a deer hunt becomes a coyote hunt. Because anytime a coyote comes out, it just became a coyote hunt. Story with this one. And I'm going to show you the pictures right here. And in one of them, I have it circled in yellow where the entrance was. And then you're going to see the coyote's guts hanging out. But then here's where the story gets good. So look at these pictures, and then I'll be back with the story. So I'm going to use my tablet here for pointing effects because I'm brand new at this. I feel like I'm a baby at editing, but I do the best I can. Let me get to my picture here. Just a second. So here's the coyote that Jason killed. That's my twin. You see where that yellow part is at right there? That's where it went in. And if you look and see the guts hanging out right over here, Jason was on a deer hunt. He had just got Schwacker broadheads. Three coyotes come running in. The one that came in that he shot, it took off barreling away from him. They come in three together. He knew he put a good shot on this coyote. So he gets out of his stand after about 10 minutes, follows the blood trail. And I kid you not, that coyote that he shot is dead. And his two running mates that was running with him was eating him. One minute it's your buddy, next minute it's your lunch. Weird. But he wouldn't have seen that if he wouldn't have got out. And that just goes to show that it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Ah, ah, dad joke. But I digress. But this is my video. 
buy what you're happy with. You can get on Amazon, eBay, find cheap broadheads. You can go with the expensive one. It's whatever you want to do. Make it fun. Make videos. Start your own YouTube channel. Whatever you want to do, make it fun. If you don't want to hunt, then don't hunt. But if you do, go with your budget. Go with what makes you comfortable. If fixed broadheads didn't work for you and expandables fly better, use it. But if you didn't have good with one, it's all about that. But every time this year, I see on the Facebook groups I'm in, which one should I use? And there's always people for and people against. Because they've had success with it that way. Other people may not have success with the other type of broadhead. Just like with everything you got going on when you're hunting. It's all about personal preference. PSC, Matthews, and whatever you get comfortable with. You can get a bow from Walmart, which I'm not a fan of. But that's personal preference. I've shot a Hoyt compound. I'm on my third one since I was 19. I'm 41 now. I'm on my third one. I've had good success with this, so that's what I stick with. Personal preference. So I hope y'all like this video. Movies and stuff are starting to get going back up again. We're going to try to get some entertainment videos in there for some of y'all that watch that for this. I know some of y'all get bored with the hunting, but hey, that's me and this is my channel. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Give me a like and subscribe if you did. Comment if you want to. Like I said, I'm really good at replying back to people. And everyone have a good day. Make good choices.